friend of mine asked how to locate a certain site in satellite imagery that was not in Google Earth or Google Maps. Um, and so I'm going to walk you through that process, show you some different sources of satellite imagery and uh, how to select them um, and pr get pricing information. So the site was the oil rocks near Baku. So a quick search gives you a Google Sightseeing link, uh, which is apparently uh, in a bit of controversy because it says that the actual site is not the oil rocks, if you go down to the comments. However, it does show some oil rig sites, and uh, it gives us a link to open aerial map, which no longer functions, but does give us the latitude and longitude. So that's a really good place to start. The other thing it gives us, if we go down to those comments that say it's not the oil rocks, is a link to a Russian military map with the oil rocks. So we can go here, and we see this island, Jiloy, um, which uh, I believe these actually are the oil rocks down here. Um, so uh, let's see what we can get. Uh, if we go to Google Earth, and we enter this, we just separate it with a comma, and it should bring us to that exact site. There's a couple approaches in Google Earth if you're looking at an area where you can't currently see any good satellite imagery. This site is interesting, you can see here, because it's just blue. There's no actual imagery for this site at anywhere near the scale we're looking for. Um, and so, and there's the island of Jiloy. So what we can do is open up the historical imagery slider. And that gives us all of the imagery Google has licensed or bought. And it goes back to, in this case, 2000. Some of them will go back much earlier because they have uh, you know, airplane overflights and things like that. What we can do is kind of slowly slide back along this timeline to see what else is available. You can see that some of the imagery is changing, but unfortunately, none of it covers the Baku oil rocks. Um, it's all just of the mainland. So while well, this is kind of interesting, you know, we go along here, we realize that we don't actually have any good imagery of that site. So there are other sources out there, however. Google has not licensed all, and in fact has licensed very little of the available um, uh, GUI and of course government sources of a variety of sorts. So what we can do in this case is uh, look it up online. A really good place to start is MapMart because it lists products from a lot of different vendors. So we just click on satellite imagery, scroll down all past all this crap and just say click here and go. And what we can do is begin zooming in on the Caspian Sea. Here's Baku, here's Jaloy, and you know what I'm going to do is just select this area here and then we can do a rectangle selection. We're going to ask for this whole area. And what it will do is actually look to see whether there have been satellite sweeps over that location and offer us available products is what they call it. And this should show us outlines of all of the imagery sets that have been captured by a variety of different vendors, governments, things like that. And it uh, should give us prices. So here we go. Um, these are all, they say quote, and that's because we've, we've selected a really large area. So what we'd want to do is select a much, much smaller area and then uh, you know, find out how much it would cost. What I'm going to do is, based on this map, um, oh goodness, that that's what we're looking for. I see. So it's actually quite a ways out to one side. Let's see if we can uh, just open this image, which should let us kind of zoom out. All right, so this is it. Let's say we're going to go back. and select a much smaller area. Based on this map, I want to go next to Jiloy, 
and select this area. Let's zoom out just a little bit. So we're assuming it's going to be right about here. I'm going to draw a rectangle around that area. Let's go to the next step. We've selected 80 square miles, so it's a really big area. Um, the prices will be accordingly high, but what we can do is eventually we can narrow that down and, and choose smaller areas that we might be able to get for a, for a lower price. All right, so we've selected this area here. Prices are actually not so terrible. This is just over $1,000 for GOI 1 imagery. That's probably going to be the best resolution we'll get. You can see it's listed here as 18 inches, meaning that every pixel is 18 inches wide, and we have 2009 through 2010. What we can do is get an overview of this. And it will show us the actual extents here. So we actually, this is only imaging really Geloy. We probably don't have much over here, but what we can do is select these both. It'll tell you cloud cover. So actually, the percent coverage is not so great here. Um, here, let's kind of reduce this. So here you can see that there's 100% clouds and only 10% uh, of actual coverage. So but we can actually we can preview this. So I'm going to extend this back out. And then we can selectively turn these on and it will actually show us what it looks like on the map. There you go, that's one. And we can kind of zoom in on here to see what we've actually got. It's actually pretty good. The clouds don't cover up the area we want, but we're not sure it actually extends out and, and covers the zone that we're looking for. Um, I'm going to turn that off and try the other one. And you can see that's just completely clouds. So this is not very useful. Let's check out the next one down, which is QuickBird. That's run by Digital Globe, the competing company. And we'll zoom in here. These look pretty good, but the coverage is very low. So you can see it's outside of this zone here. Let's check out the next one down, and it's more expensive because it is 18 inch and 100% coverage. But we do have a, a direct hit here, so what we'd like to do is select a few of these. Which one is this actually? So we can look down here, and this is 100% coverage, so that's probably the one we want. Let's give that a try. And as we make it visible, we're able to tell whether it's the strip we're looking for. Unfortunately, it's entirely covered in clouds. So actually, I think I'm, yeah, this is 100% clouds. Let's look at this 97% one here. I think I just selected the wrong column. And there we go. So down here is probably what we're looking at. Let's open this in a new tab. But that's about that's the full resolution they're going to give us. But I believe these are actually, this is actually the site here. We can try a different one, but it does look to me like that's the only one actually intersecting the site. Let's take a look at, so spot imagery is 15 meter, which is much, much worse imagery and it basically drops down from there. So this is probably the only one really worthwhile buying. It's about $3,000, and depending on the area, it's 2008 through 2010. In the overview, it does tell you exactly when it was taken. So the one that we were looking for 
here was in 2009. So, uh, in any case, we can uh, identify, yeah, there we go, uh, satellite imagery over a particular area. We can take a look at the age, the cloud cover, the um, uh, resolution, and uh, get a price for it. And that's uh, available for anywhere in the world. And um, hope that's been helpful. Thanks.